Hey everybody, Douglas County Commissioner George Teal here with your August 2022 direct from the board video newsletter. A lot of times when we think of Douglas County, we think of it in terms of I-25, this modern super highway running all the way from Montana down to Texas. But today we got an opportunity to take a look and see how Douglas County and the entire Front Range has been a highway for thousands of years. That is a mammoth rib, and it's turning into stone. That's why it's so heavy. You can tell that it's huge. I mean, yeah, it's it most likely, you know, an adult. It's probably oh. not a juvenile. Yep. So probably actually standing up that high. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> We've been working on this landscape for three seasons now, and we found a couple specimens. So we found like the remains, a piece of, a small piece of a mammoth, uh, two individual mammoths actually. Here's another chunk of what is likely a rib with a bunch of aggregate on it still. Here's the bone right here. Yeah, amazing. We're trying to show the folks here in Douglas County that not only is science alive and well, and it's fun, we're gonna be showing kids and the public, the curious public, what you can do as an archaeologist, as a paleontologist. Fascinating. You sure you don't have a background in paleontology? <laughs> <laughs> merely history, merely history. In the waning millennia of the last ice age, at least 15,000 and maybe 25,000 years ago, the first Americans might have camped along the creeks and in the clusters of timber where Denver and Colorado Springs later appeared. They may have stayed for decades or for centuries. This is from the Contested Plains by Elliot West. We all know that place between Denver and Colorado Springs today as Douglas County, Colorado. Prairie Canyon Ranch was historically a cattle ranch and still today functions as a cattle ranch. One of the cool things about Prairie Canyon Ranch that I don't think everybody knows is that we have a blacksmith shop on the property that is recreated. So people can come in and actually see some demonstrations of an old uh, coal forge blacksmith shop. This rock shelter is special because it is undisturbed and the cultural material is intact. Another cool thing about this project is we have a tribal consultant on site every day during excavation who is monitoring what is coming out of the ground and helping in interpret what the artifacts are. I support open space and parks, but I'm opposed to this tax. In July, a lot of you tuned in for our town hall where we talked about extending the open space sales tax. There's no surprise that the open spaces contribute to the property values. I also applaud the commissioners for being willing to put this on the ballot so the voters have a, a choice in the matter. This November, on your ballot, you're going to be given the choice. Do you wish to extend it or let it expire? We know how much many people enjoy open space and parks here in Douglas County. We're gonna give you the choice. And here in August, we're still gonna keep working on making the change to our zoning regulations to help people work from home. Still looking to preserve what we all have and love while in our rural residential areas, opening it up so that folks can operate a business from their home without running afoul of our zoning regulations. I know a lot of you are always very concerned about what's going on with our new Douglas County Public Health Department. I don't have a lot of big updates for you this month. Again, we'll be ready in October to take over the lion's share of the services once provided by Tri-County Health, and we're keeping our goal to take over all services come this December. Well, hey everybody, thank you for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Enjoy summer, winter will be right around the corner. Take care of yourselves. <laughs>